Hello guys. Today we'll be discussing on the things that needs to be taken care of while designing a big project in UI path. So while designing a big project in UI path, we should divide that project into different different parts so that all the parts can be wrapped up together and presented in the main XML file. So while dividing the projects into different different parts, all those parts should be kept inside different different small folders inside the project icon. So let's get started. I'll be describing you the project which is present in UiPath Academy. If you go and enroll the UiPath Academy Advanced Certification, there you can find assignments. So I'll be discussing the first assignment with you. So this is the first assignment. Calculate Client Security Hash. So what we need to do is been described in this block diagram. First, what we need to do is log into Acme System 1 and inside that Acme System 1 web application, we need to perform few tasks. And after that, we need to fetch few details from Acme System 1 web application and we need to open one more website called SHA1 and we have to do few more activities inside the SHA1 websites. So here the total involvement is two. One is Acme System 1 and another, and another one is the SHA1 website. So I'll be dividing the project into two folders currently. So let's create two folders. Here we can create the folders in project icon. There are three icons here, project activities and snippets. Activities contains all the activities that we require to design a UI path project. And inside project, it contains all the, it, it's kind of a tree structure where it contains all the files that is a part of a project. So let me create two folder here. One is system one folder other one is sha1 online folder so let's start with our designing first what we need to do we need to log into the acme system one web application so let's do the login activity so let's create a new sequence and give it as login to system one here it is created let me drag and drop into system one folder let's open the activities icon so for logging into the system web application first what we need to do we need to open the browser where we have to give the URL here, but instead of giving directly the URL here, I have already kept the URL in a config file. So I'll be reading that from that config file. So for that, I'll be dragging and dropping the read text file activity. Let's give the path where my config file is present. So this is the config file. So it would be reading the contents from this config file and putting it into a variable let me give it a system one url variable name and open browser here we just need to give that variable name so let's run the program to open our window so here it has already opened it so let's perform the login activity opening a recorder I have opened a web recorder record it I will be putting the email ID here let's give some random thing here we don't need to give the proper email ID here we need to give the password let me give the password as a random thing and here I want it to be 
encrypted so let me give it as type password and empty field needs to be checked in then login yeah it will obviously give a error because i have not typed the correct email id or password let's escape but our activity sequence is already been recorded it has created a new sequence kind of thing here so let me put all the activities inside the do panel and let me delete this web panel from here so all our activities that i did is recorded here only thing the email id we need to correct it so instead of giving the email id here i would like to create it as variable so that it can be changed afterwards if needed email id let me give the give the email id here yeah so it's done now get password so i'm forgetting to enter the email id variable here which i have created it's done now now type password activity here we are getting the password and it is storing it here so let me give the password here as password field it won't be visible to you guys and it is storing automatically creating a variable as password and displaying here the password so let's run the program and see how it goes see the output yeah it has successfully logged in so our first part is over now which is log in to acme system 1 web application so our next part is access work item on the dashboard which i'll be explaining to you on my second part of this video till now it's done logging into the acme system So thank you goodbye